Let's do it. All right, story time. So y'all know I've been enjoying the crap out of the Google Stadia cloud gaming platform. So much that I have bought a ton of games, man. I just bought Red Dead Redemption 2 last night. I've got Ghost Recon. I've been playing like Tomb Raider games at the Wazoo and Mortal Kombat and stuff like that. So I've been gaming, man. I've spent a lot of my life gaming since November when this came out. And I got the Founders Edition, which is this midnight blue and orange controller right here. And it's been working really well. Everything has really worked flawlessly up until some point late last week when my son came home from college and you know, he's not really into video games, but I said, hey son, come over here. Let me teach you some lessons about life. So I fired up Mortal Kombat cause I was about to teach the kids some lessons about self-esteem. Like I was about to go to work on his self-esteem in Mortal Kombat. But I realized that it was stuck in block mode and the character was not moving. Like none of the buttons would work. As soon as you go to a menu, everything seemed to work, but it, as soon as it went to fight mode, nothing would work. So I was like, what's going on with this one controller here? Cause I've only had one controller and I was using an Xbox controller, like on the computer and stuff like that. And I just decided to try it on other games and I tried it on Metro Exodus and all the buttons worked except for the trigger. So I couldn't fire my weapon on Metro Exodus. And then I went to uh, Destiny 2. Destiny 2 worked great. Tomb Raider, Grid, all the games worked great. Then we tried Samurai Showdown and the right trigger would not work again. So those three games were not working for me. Mortal Kombat was stuck with the uh, block just mashed down for some reason. It just, it was like virtually stuck. Uh, and S Samurai Showdown, same thing. It was just stuck in block or stuck at whatever button that is, the trigger. And I could not fire my weapon on Metro Exodus. But all the other games, it worked. Red Dead Redemption worked. Uh, Ghost Recon worked. Everything else worked. Like 100% all the buttons worked with the Founders Edition controller. So I get online with Google Stadia. And man, I, I actually put it on Twitter first. I was like, hey, what's up with the game? And they responded to me directly in my Twitter feed. And I was like, cool, they're responding. So we started troubleshooting together. Then they said, look, this is kind of intense. So let's take it to a DM. So they took it to a DM and we're chatting back and forth on the DM and that really wasn't working. And plus, you know, there was a lag between communication and stuff like that. So I decided to go ahead and log on to my Google account and contact uh, the help desk, like for real, like the way you're supposed to do it. So take the proper channels, go through Google Stadia direct uh, to the help desk. And I got an online chat going almost like immediately. It took like one or two minutes for somebody to come on and chat with me. Uh, I chatted with the guy, I told him what was going on. He asked for my serial number of the controller and like, you know, the order number and stuff because he needed to know that I had the Founders Edition. And uh, he said, you know what? Sounds like your controller is jacked up. So we're gonna go ahead and give you a voucher so you can get a new one. And I was like, dang, I just ordered one the day before because you know my son was in town and I wanted to get one so we could play Stadia together. Like we could play like Grid and Mortal Kombat and stuff together. So I ordered him the clearly white one just so we could have two different ones. So I had this one on order. This one's jacked up and they said, you know what? It don't matter. We still gonna send you another one because this one is jacked up and it's under warranty. So they sent me the just black one. So we got just black right here. We got the founders edition and then we got the clearly white. Now here's the thing. I have these three controllers sitting here. These two work perfectly 100% on every game I own, but this one does not work properly with uh, Mortal Kombat Samurai Showdown and Metro Exodus. Otherwise, it's a great controller. It works for Grid, it works for Tomb Raider, it works for Ghost Recon and, and Red Dead Redemption, everything. So I ended up with these three controllers now. I got one for me, one for the wife, and one for the kid when he comes home. But now I only got one problem. I got three great controllers here. One is, one is like at 90%. These two are at 100% as far as functionality. But the only games that work at the moment of this video are the, the games like Mortal Kombat and Samurai Showdown, where it's not split screen and both characters or both players are on the same uh, screen or playing field. If you're, if you're gonna try to do a, a split screen game, like maybe Ghost Recon or Tomb Raider, or something, like multiplayer kind of stuff, or like Grid, where it has a split screen up and down, I don't think they've allowed that just yet. I've been trying to figure it out. I've been watching videos. Man, point me out to something if there's something that exists, if there's something I need to do. Yes, you can connect up to four controllers to your uh, Google Chromecast and play Stadia games. Uh, and I've, I've got two right now, but 
there's really no games that you can play that way right now. So that's my biggest gripe. But I really wanted to make this video to thank Google Stadia for their stellar customer service. That's really what this video is about. I mean, all I did was put something up on Twitter. I was like, hey, Stadia, what's up with the, my game is tripping right now? And they responded uh, on, on the feed and then they took it to a DM and then I went ahead and took an extra step and took it to customer service. And within, I don't know, maybe an hour of all of this transpiring, maybe two hours of all this transpiring because I was busy doing other stuff in between the chats, I had a new controller in the mail. And they, I mean, it was just hassle free. So, I mean, I'm not like getting paid by Google or nothing, but I mean, I think with companies, you always hear about the bad stuff, how they screwed up and how they don't do this well. Well, they did this very well. And I wanted to commend them on their customer service because I'm a happy customer right now. They ended up sending me a replacement controller hassle free within uh, let's just say moments in the grand scheme of things of my initial complaint. That is what you call customer service and that's how it's supposed to be done. A lot of companies, they're almost unreachable sometimes, man. You can't even get no customer service because the, the gap between the customer and the service is so far spread. So if you're on the fence about Stadia, I get it. You don't know if it's actually gonna work for you or not. But if you worried about having some problems and it not being taken care of, I'm a true testimony, man. Like they take care of the problems if you got them. But I haven't really had any problems except for uh, this this uh, Midnight Blue or this Founders Edition controller kind of tripping on me on just three games. That's so weird that it just did that with three games. I went to Reddit. Some people on Reddit had some trouble like that, and you know they did like master resets and stuff, and it ended up working. But that didn't work for me, so I ended up with you know getting sent to another controller. But I definitely want to commend Stadia on their customer service and uh, let you guys know that hey if you got a problem they will take care of it for you this was the, actually the free controller that i got or replacement controller that i got so thumbs up I mean, you know what forget the thumbs two emoji hands up for stadia and now i'm going to turn off this camera and go be a great father and destroy my son's self-esteem in mortal kombat hmm. hey where you going no 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 sit back down we gotta talk about this you didn't have a good time all right then, hit the subscribe button. There you go, reach down there, there you go. And then hit the bell because you need to know when I'm opening up more new stuff. You gotta come right back here and check this stuff out. Now, don't you feel like a better human being? All right, I knew you would. All right, man, I'll see you soon. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Is this not why you are here?